Hello friends and welcome back to another showdown special on the channel. We're going to be just playing around with this mega ray that we were playing around with in our last episode. It is banded. We've made a little bit of an adjustment here to the team. Um, you can see I've taken the, the scissor out and put a gastrodon in. Um, I think the, the, the earth uh, power attack, uh, ground type attack is really useful. Having something that kind of gets around boosting Xerneas and other boosting attackers is nice as well. And it also gives us that trick room element that can operate there nicely. So um, we weren't really using the scissor very much. So I feel like the Gastrodon can provide us with a little bit more um, to go forward with. And it, it deals with stack attacker as well a lot better than scissor does. So it gives us that little bit of a, an extra boost in those areas that we may be lacking uh, from stuff that we saw in the last episode. Uh, the one thing that I do want to change though is uh, we need to get rid of really waterfall on the Rayquaza. Now I could go for Earthquake. Um, kind of tempted to go for it. It's just like I said in our last episode, we don't really have uh, anything else uh, that synergizes well where we can have Earthquake freely um, firing off on the field. Um, although Earthquake is just nice for spread damage and you know what, Like I don't really like ever being locked into Waterfall so we'll go for it. Um, and it just gives us a nice spread attack so we'll give it a test today, see how it goes. We'll jump straight into it and see how we get on. We've got a first opponent, jeez, Sableye. Uh, so we've got the the, the um, Duskman and Groudon. Sableye, obviously there, because he's a Sableye man. Um, right, what I'm gonna do here, because I feel like Coco can be good, but probably late game after this thing goes Ultra Necrozma. We need to watch out for the, the Amoongus in particular. Uh, Rayquaza is not bad here, to be honest. Um, Coco is quite good for the Sableye as well. Kind of tempted to go. The only other thing I could do is if I expect Incineroar Finny lead, um, and we could go Serena Rayquaza and just go Help and Hand Dragon Ascent into the Finny turn one, which might be quite a nice option. Uh, Gastrodon could be quite good here as well, honestly. Um, we'd have to be a bit careful around the Amoongus, but other than that, it really doesn't have too much of a hard time against anything so makes sense to bring um and do we want our own incineral uh, or do we want other than Xerneas? i mean i feel like i've got enough to deal with groudon honestly like in incineral could be good just as a little bit of support against the rest of the team and it does pretty well against the majority of stuff that we're facing down here so click in with that if i just knock the timer off start timer come on Let's go. The timer's not working. Anyway. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to get into this one. Why is the timer not working? Oh, my internet is down. So, yes, I'll have to come back to this, my friends. So we'll be right back. So we're back, friends. Uh, yeah, my home Wi-Fi, thanks, Virgin, uh, is doing its usual. But we're back up and running, so thank goodness for that. We can get into this first one, start a timer. I've gone up against ground on Ray um, and stacks as well so this one looks like a really good one for Gastrodon to be honest there's like outside of the Rayquaza possibly the Finny there's not really too much that threatens the Gastrodon too much um, so we we should be all right here uh, Crobat obviously a bit of a pain in the butt uh, to deal with but Tapu Koko Serena might be a nice lead here for us um, with that faint uh, we have to be a bit careful obviously with the ground on um, in the back, but raise a nice switch in there, and then what do we want as the last one? Do we want the Gastrodon? Probably Gastrodon, let's go with it. Um, so, mm, this is a tricky thing, because if we go for the Crobat, then um, the the stack gets its trick room up. But I don't really mind that too much, because if we just Vault Switch out onto the Crobat and faint there to break a potential Sash, uh, we should should be able to just get Gastrodon in if the, the Tillman does go up, but we're not going to see that. It just says a faint. We, we, win the, uh, we don't win the speed tie. It's a bit of a shame there. But we get rid of the Crobat. This is not ideal for us, really, because um, one of the things we want to be able to do is... Um, uh, not give my opponent the opportunity to get something uh, like Groudon in and Tailwind and make use of all of these turns. Uh, okay, so Groudon coming in. Um, could go Ice Beam. 
into the rear, but I, I feel like you probably double target into the Gastrodon here rather than anything else. You could be cheeky and go for a U-turn out onto the rear. Um, and it's probably better doing that, to be honest, just because if we, it's better than just switching in Rayquaza um, and then losing a lot of health that we don't want to be losing here. So hopefully we do see, oh, Sword Stance. That's not ideal at all. Um, but Banded Ray. Hmm, extreme speed. Yeah, we could, I mean, we can go extreme speed here. That's the, the thing. Um, just, we've got to manage this quite well because we need one of these two to deal with the Groudon. Um, and ideally, we'd want Serena helping hand extreme speed onto the opposing Ray. Um, but not really going to happen. So do we switch in Coco and sacrifice it? Probably the better option. A Mega Evolve and go for an extreme speed into the Rayquaza. It might extreme speed us and not having Intimidate ourselves here is hindering us a little bit. We're going to see the stack attacker come in for the Groudon, which is fine. Um, we do get the extreme speed, so one more will get. Okay, that's fine. Now we do have the ability to get Serena out. It prevents the opposing Ray from going for that. Um, attack, uh, because it can't extreme speed itself, and we can faint extreme speed into it if we'd like to, which might be a better option. The thing is, it could switch into Groudon, which is a big problem here. But with the boosts, is it wanting to do that? Okay, no, not going to see that in faint going after, so... <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have worked anyway. Okay, the trick room going up. This is fine because I mean we've got um, got Gastro on the back to come in. Um, if we can get some damage off into the stack attacker now, it'd be really nice. And do you imagine the Groudon going Precious Blades? Or eruption? Maybe eruption. You know, uh, it could go Fire Punch as well. So we're going to take a lot of damage from a rock slide, and it's probably better off if we preserve. Yeah, I'm going to switch in Gastron here. Gravity. Oh. Okay, it's not that not ideal, and the Groudon's actually slower than our. Uh... Hmm. We well, could help in hand Earth Power, and that probably puts the Groudon in range for an extreme speed. That's a gyro ball. It's fine. It gets a berry. Gastrodon coming through with that expert belt. Man, what a beast. Okay, well that solves that. That was surprising. Okay, uh, good game to our opponent. I didn't expect us to kind of get through that one like it did, but Gastrodon it, it completely surprised me there. <laughs> Gastrodon's so good. I'm just saying that now, obviously. I love that. Like, you, I'm so reactive. Like, as soon as I get one good knockout, it's like, it's the best Pokemon ever. We never want to deviate from this Pokemon ever again. Okay, we've got uh, X-Ray, the mirror, but we've got Empoleon, Crobat, uh, Coco, and Incineroar here. Um, Xerneas kind of scares me a little bit, and bringing my own Xerneas is not really a great idea against, like, Crobat and Empoleon, which we can't really do too much against. Um, probably better off with Coco here. Um, and I do want Gastrodon just for the fact that if the Xerneas does get boosted up, at least we've got Clear Smog to try and get rid get around it that way. Um, should we go... Coco. Do I want Incineroar here? I'm not sure if I do really. Do we need it? Uh, it could be. It could be decent. At the same time, I don't want to really proc the Defiant ability. Might go Serena, Gastrodon, and Ray. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Well, this isn't the worst. Because we can feign Twinkle Tackle the Rayquaza. Which might be a nice way of just getting rid of that straight away. Um, the Crobat, like it's going for the speed tie the whole time we saw in that last match. If Coco doesn't win it, it's going to get its tailwind up anyway. So, I'm not really too worried about it. The offensive pressure that Crobat generally puts on teams as well isn't... Okay, that's a little bit annoying uh, that we're not going to get the Ray. Uh, we'll get some decent damage onto the Incineroar. We do win the speed tie here, of course. And there's the tailwind. Incineroar still shouldn't add speed at Coco, so... 
we will be fine uh, going for just I don't I don't mind about the Serena taking a flare blitz here um, just being able to get rid of the Crobat might be nice uh, oh we don't actually get rid of it okay so we'll bring in Ray of our own because then we got the band extreme speed that we can make use of there's a flare blitz um, and Cinero yeah okay and we'll bring in Coco again because we can Volt Switch out on the Incinero, go for the Extreme Speed into the Crobat there, and then get Gastrodon onto the field. And it's a nice time to get rid of the Tailwind um, on my opponents and be, like denying the Crobat another Tailwind. This is kind of what we want to be doing. Uh, the, the problem is that the Xerneas is going to be in the back uh, for my opponent. I would imagine he brought Xerneas to this match. I don't know why he wouldn't bring Xerneas against this team of ours. Uh, it's always going to be a threat to deal with. Okay, Rayquaza coming in. I don't mind this at all because it gives us a free extreme speed onto it. And two extreme speeds should be enough to pick up the knockout there. We're going to... Oh, are you kidding? We don't get the incinero. Oh, is that a salt vest? It must be. I'm going to say Snarl. It's not the worst. Because um, we can just extreme speed again. And... <sighs> Do we just switch back into Coco? Yeah, I think go back into Coco now. Um, does the Ray Mega Evolve and Extreme Speed? It's trying to, maybe, but who knows? U turn gonna come out. Um, we'll see what comes in if it's Xerneas this time around. Yeah, Xerneas and Incineroar. So my opponent set this up pretty nicely, that's the thing, like, uh, here it's a little bit awkward. We'll get Gastrodon in, um, and we'll go for a... It's probably better just getting damage off onto the Xerneas here, if we can. Yeah, there's a fake out. Uh, we can't deny the... the Geomancy here, no matter what we do. So there's the Geomancy. Um, now we can go extreme speed and clear smog. Clear smog um, and extreme speed. And then extreme speed, if we get the clear smog as well. Because um, Gastron should take. Okay. What are we going to see? Snarl. That's fine. Should still take the dazzle. Um, uh, maybe not though. Maybe Gastrodon gets Moonblasted, but you Moonblast the Gastrodon, you leave us open for another extreme speed on Ray, and two extreme speeds against Xerneas, and then we can really close this one up pretty easily from there, so. Oh, it's so close! Dazzle! Oh, we get taken down! We need a bulky Gastrodon. We need bulky Gastrodon, 100%. Now we've got Coco to come in, and this is the first loss I think we've had with the team since we kicked off with it, so. Um, my opponent played it well. They got that position, that board position up, which we really want to try and avoid uh, in these situations. Sorry about that. Someone outside my house honking their horn. Um, yeah, and there we go. Good game to my opponent. Yeah. I think one of the things it might be nice to look at now is if we go over to Damage Calculator. Uh, can I pull it up? Uh, we'll go over to Mr. Jake White. Thank you, sir, for this. As, as always. Um, Gastrodon. Um, and let's have a look at what we can do. This is what I kind of like to do. I know we're cutting away from actually playing, but I feel like this sort of thing is quite valuable sometimes. I'll just go with the standard Xerneas to get these calcs. Dazzling Gleam. I mean, we should have been pretty close, but that's on this set. And I'm going to have to go because my door's going. So um, I will be right back, my friends. Okay, friends, I'm back. Uh, that was awkward. Tash has actually went out the house today. She's taken my wallet and my keys with me, with her. So I'm actually locked in the house. So I had to get the mail th through the window, uh, which is a little bit awkward. But yeah, getting back to um, to this. So, I mean, one of the things that I really liked in our last episode was the, the ability with the expert belt. With a helping hand boost to get kind of the grout on. Uh, which we need. Earth powerful, come on. So, okay, we can we can totally do this. Um, okay, 108. That's not bad. Um, bold. What are we taking? I think we probably take some out of the 
the uh, defense here. The 106. And then we'll go back to Vesalius. I don't think we're ever going to be able to without a massive amount of investment to take the Moonblast. But it's this Dazzling Gleam that I do like. And I like the fact that we can we can take it quite comfortably. Like, if we had this investment in our last game, we would have been able to to take that. So I think what we'll do, we'll change that. So, uh, 24468. 68 or am I just being 24468 yeah 10884 okay alright well yeah we'll try that one and we'll see how we can get on going forward so we've made a little tweak there and we'll get straight back into it um, again, as always, the team's down in the description. I'll put the, the, the final team that we kind of finish up playing with today in the description, so you can you've got that if you want to try this team out. We've got our next team: Lunala, Rayquaza, Supporting Cast in Infernip, Katana, Manibuzz, and Tapu Vini. So Tapu Koko really good here. Um, the only thing is that we can't get a terrain up uh, as soon as we want to um, because of the Tapu Vini. Uh, there is no Intimidate from my opponent, so it kind of makes me want to bring that Rayquaza Serena lead so we can help in hand get rid of whatever we want to in one really. Um, what do we want in the back though? I think Incineroar is going to be useful here, uh, just for the, the Lunala, the Cartana, and the Intimidate for the other physical attackers on the team. And then um, maybe if we're bringing Incineroar, we want to bring Xerneas as well. Although, like I say, Tapakoko could be quite useful here. Um, nah, we'll go zone. We'll go zone. Get the timer on. Um, Alright. I wonder... Well, a helping hand. Dragon Ascent will definitely get the mind of us. No matter what. No matter what! And the, in the Infernape can attack us arena and get rid of it. But it gives us a free switch into Cinderella the next turn if it wants to go down that route. But it... It's got to feel pretty threatened right now, and you'd imagine maybe the Infinite goes out to Finny, but I'm not going to see that. Uh, ooh, it just goes for a Protect, so even better. Bye-bye, Mandibuzz. There's one down. Can we get all four Pokemon with, um, with Rayquaza? It'd be nice if we could, wouldn't it? Let's see. What's going to come in now? Maybe Ray? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Do we just go Dragon Ascent Faint? The problem is here, like, one of the things that I do think is probably better to do is preserve our Ray for an end game. I do worry about a Sword Stance being set up, but I mean, at the same time, are you going to go for that? We could switch into Incineroar here and um, Pull in Xerneas, double switch, and then we got the fake out Geo the next turn, which might be nice to go for. Because I think you target down our Rayquaza with your Ray. Oh, and you just protect. Huh. And Flavix. Alright. Well, this is this is pretty free now because we can just fake out the Ray and Geomancy. <coughs> the Infernip uh King Flare Blitz again, but it's not really doing very much. I mean, there's the yeah, I don't know why you protect in front of us doing this, but that's by the by. We'll go for a U-turn there, Dazzling Gleam, and that should clear both, and then you've got the, the Lunala to come in, but if we pivot out, we can potentially get Ray back in. I don't know if we'll be able to get the U-turn off, to be honest, though. We should be able to remove everything from the field now, and it looks like it's going to be a GG once again, which should be good. Back on track. Come on, guy. Let's go. Okay, there we go. What's Cartana? Um, so we did get the U-turn, which is nice. But, I mean, it's not really helping my opponent out at all. Because, unless the Cartana is scarfed. And even then, it's not at speed as only is it. So, um, yeah, it's, pretty much, it's pretty much done now. We've locked it. Locked and looted. We'll go for an extreme speed into the ring. And uh, get this Dazzle off. And that should be game. 
and my opponent left, but we'll even say good game just to be a sportsman about it. Uh, we'll go into our next one, see how we get on. I really want to come up against that Xerneas kind of build again. Um, and I guess Low Ladder at the minute is pretty good. We might get a wish here. Uh, just to see how the Gastrodon can perform against that. I wonder if we've got like a Psych Up variant here. Uh, we do have <coughs> Weavile and Cineral as supporting cast. I think this is a pretty good matchup where we can potentially go for a, a, a Xerneas Geomancy uh, switch into Serena here. Um, although we've got to be careful because. Lunala probably has Roll, probably has Psyker. The Amoongus with its Rage Powder as well can be a bit problematic. Um, so, all in all, actually, Coco may be better. The only problem with bringing Coco up top is the Amoongus, but we can get around that with Ray. We'll bring Serena because it seems like it could be very important here. Uh, and do we go Gastrodon just for the clear smog? onto the boosting Pokemon that we're going to probably see come out. This is why I want to bring Xerneas more than anything, just so I can kind of go toe to toe with my opponent a little bit. Um, do we just bring Xerneas in the back or not? Can we bring Incineroar? Might be better. And then we got Snarl that we can utilize and it then hits him and just a little bit harder. So yeah, maybe go that route. Let's see. How we get on here? So we've out. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go for the switch into Serena, Mega Evolve, and Dragonus and Xerneas. We should take an attack from the Weavile, and it's likely that it's gonna go for a Fake Out here rather than anything else anyway. It's whether or not the Xerneas goes for its Geomancy. Fling! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> We're screwed! We're screwed! The fling! The fling is totally... Ah! Uh, my opponent saw through it. Read us like a book. Helping hand. Uh, we're gonna have to extreme speed, I think. Just to get some damage. Or attempt to. It's not gonna be doing as much with this. Ah! Oh, this is terrible. Get... get... Ah, uh, Incineroar in. Um, hmm. I mean, we can go for a Snarl Faint into the Xerneas, expecting it to maybe protect and Weavile come in on the Incineroar slot. Potentially. They can't fake us out here, but they can just go, yeah, so we might catch them out a little bit. He might. <clears throat> I still feel like this is far too, like, too much for us to come back from here. Uh, that fling play completely caught us off guard. We'll bring Coco in, we'll protect, um, and we'll go for another Snarl. I do feel like uh, the Weavile probably comes back in now, though. And then with access to Fake Out, it can pretty much shut us down. And this is the problem with us faking out in this turn, I think. It's not really ideal, but we'll see how we get on. Um, we can maybe win this game, I don't know. I don't know, it depends what my opponent goes for here. Uh, there's the Dazzle. So, you turn what's coming in. It's gonna be the Weavile, guarantee it. Weavile, yeah. It's gonna have access to that fake out the next turn. But I think Coco should get through this next turn now. It's not the end of the world. Um, so, I'm gonna go for the Twinkle Tackle and I'm gonna go for a Flare Blitz into the Xerneas here. We aren't intimidated, so I'd m imagine a Flare Blitz will get the Xerneas. We could just Dazzling Gleam in case you'd want to go for. Yeah, Dazzle's probably better with Coco. Then we get the Weavile, we'll get some chip onto the Xerneas. Depends where you want to fake out, yeah, so. Um, Ooblast, we take. Still in this. The, the special attack drop there is horrendous, though. Um, pretty obvious what we're going to do now though. Flare Blitz into the Xerneas. Imagine the Weavile. It could have Low Kick as well. Weavile's a cool Pokemon. Moonblast. Knock off. That's fine. These are Assault Vest, but we get rid of the Xerneas. The problem is now that we've got the Incineroar to come back in with its Fake Out. 
Uh, the special attack drop as well on our Coco is not ideal. Um, we can go for the double protect. Go for Flare Blitz into the Weavile here. Hmm. No, we don't get it. So that's game. Okay, good game to my opponent. Uh, let's have one more before we finish up today. See if we can get back on track with things. Uh, okay, Dusk Main and Xerneas. Then we've got Kangaskhan, Cinerol. Hmm. This could be actually a good one for Xerneas, Incineroar, Serena, and then Ray. Yeah, Ray, Ray. Let's go, Ray, in our last slot. Yes, we'll go with these four and see how we get on. Ah, oh, bit disappointed with that last one, to be honest. I think um, it just shows that Weavile. Weavile's a weird Pokemon as well. Like it's it's still very good utility. Like and that fling with. The uh, King's Rock or Razor Claw, or whatever it is, uh, is really powerful. It gets around any sort of Serena shenanigans. Oh, oh, what I'd like to say. Uh, okay, the Tapu Fini here changes a lot, so I'm not actually going to go for the Geo. I'm going to just go for you turn into the Finny, and I think we'll go for a Dazzling Gleam. I'm not going to go for the Geomancy here. Um, it's too risky going for it in front of a, a Finny that has potentially Haze, and then you've got Pokemon in the back like Amoongus uh, with Clear Smog, and you've still got the Dusk Main as well, which hasn't Mega Evolved yet. So we're just going to see Faker Nature's Madness. It's a bit of a bad turn on our end, to be honest. Uh, but we'll bring in Ray. Because now we've got the opportunity to go for the Dragon Ascent, uh, there's no threat of Intimidate, and we can go for this Geomancy here. So we should be able to remove the Finny from the field with the Dragon Ascent. The, the previous turn we would have been better just protecting Xerneas. We would have been in a much better position. We should still take a Flare Blitz from the Incineroar, but we're kind of kicking ourselves for putting ourselves in this position anyway. So we'll get this Dragon Ascent off. Like I said, Bandage should get the Tap of the Finny from here. Don't think the critical hit mattered at all. We are going to see... Uh, ourselves be able to get this Geomancy off. I'd imagine Incineroar comes back in now for that fake out support, but uh, we do have Serena in the back that we can switch in, I'm pretty sure, um, to get around this and just go for a move last into that Xerneas. And that should pick it up before it's able to get the Geomancy off, and it kind of shuts down my opponent's ability to kind of get any traction in this game. Ooh, I'm not seeing the Geomancy here. Uh, okay, helping hand. Dazzling Gleam, and I wonder what my point. Well, it's got to be the Dusk Moon, hasn't it? In the back, that's what my best guess would be. But we're just sitting pretty good at the moment, so we'll see. There's only just protect here. Uh, Incineroar, Salt Vest, I'd imagine, does take us down. But I mean, at this point, it's kind of fine, isn't it? Because um, we've got our Ray to come in. Uh, we can. Probably better off going for a feint into Xerneas, picking up the knockout there and going for the Dragon Ascent. The feint should get the Xerneas from this range. I'm only going for it, I don't expect it to protect, just going for it because of the priority there. We're going to see the Dusk Main come in um, and we'll lock in, get the Incineroar, which is fine. Um, and to be honest, whatever happens now, we're fine. We can go for the feint Dragon Ascent into Xerneas. If we like, um, and we've got Incineroar in the back to come in and deal with this Ultra Necrozma or Duskman, whichever one it is. So I think we'll be alright, whatever happens, uh, especially with the Assault Vest. We do see the Protect there on the Xerneas. The Faint coming out is enough, so we were right last turn. We get the man that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, and Photon guys are coming out into Serena. <laughs> Wrong play, my friend, um, but not really as well at the same time. Um, I could go for the Helping Hand Dragon Ascent here, but it could Ultra Burst and uh, attack our Ray and take us down, which it is going to do, yeah. Uh, so we'll just go for that U-turn now, which is the better play. Gets us that Incineroar in and a Serena in, and uh, we're sitting pretty nice now to just Snarl Faint, and uh, that should pick up the victory for us um, and Serena coming out on top excellent good game to my opponent 
and we're over to 1200 so uh, yeah we'll finish it up there I hope you guys have enjoyed the little tweaks today um, and we'll come back tomorrow we'll see if there's anything else we can maybe change up and uh, see if we can progress along be nice to get to like 1500 by the end of the week we're not gonna have that many games to like push much higher but uh, if this is a popular series with you guys and something you'd like to see um, going forward obviously we'll be back with our School of Hard Knocks series um, next week so uh, that'll be on the battle spot ladder but if the showdown ladder is something that you'd like to see just outside as an additional kind of bit of content because we'll get through a lot more matches here and we can get through teams a bit quicker and test things a bit easier on here then do let me know down in the comment section obviously leave a like on the video uh, it does let me know and indicate that this is the sort of content that you'd like to see going forward and I'm totally happy to do this as well it's uh, it's pretty easy for me to sit down and just start recording and chatting rubbish at you guys so uh, thanks for tuning in let me know about if you want to see this continued when i come back and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care bye bye